Did B-Link find a sweet spot for these mini PCs for the average user? Keep watching and you will find out. This review is about the B-Link GK Mini PC. Before I get into the review, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the company. B-Link, also called Shenzhen AZW Technology, has been around since 2011. The company has their own research and development department, their factory and technical support department. The first and most successful devices was the MK80B Plus and the MX3 Android Media Players. This is it, the GK Mini. I do believe that B-Link scored a home run with this device because the price and function are just perfect. You can get this one with 128 gigabit of memory for less than $230 US dollars. This is the box open. This is what was included in the device. You got a power supply and that is a 12 volt, 2 amp. So that is a 24 watt, very low power. Mounting screws, mounting bracket. I will be using that to mount this device to the back of a monitor. It's got a short HDMI cable and a longer HDMI cable. Here is the device itself and it has a warning label in case you cannot log into your Wi-Fi. Gives you instructions how to do that. Here's the front of the device. You've got two USB 3 ports, a headphone jack, speaker jack, and a power button. It's also got a reset button for the BIOS. Ventilation on this side. And here is the rear. you got ventilation on the top. Again, you got two more USB 3 ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, and two HDMI ports. Also at the very top, you've got a Kensington lock and your power, power plug. This side, you have more ventilation. Now, there is a big fan on here that moves the air to keep it cool, and it's supposed to be very silent. On the bottom, you got four pads for uh, sitting on the table so it don't slide. Okay, here it is bolted to the rear of a 24-inch Dell monitor. Now, this is a 1080p monitor and not a 4K. Now the uh, HDMI cable worked perfect. The little short one worked perfectly. So we got it bolted to the back of the monitor. I dug around the basement and dug up a set of speakers for this computer system. So I'll be using that. This is the device I'm talking about. And most people, all they want to know is how much does it cost and it will, will it run the apps that I want to run. The average user has no idea what the 4C, 4T means. That's four core, four threads at uh, two gigahertz up to 2.7. The average user don't even know what it means and don't really care. The only thing they want to know is will it run their apps? Will it run YouTube, Netflix, and can they check their email? That's the only thing they want to do. And for $229, I think this does the job. This GK Mini has 8 gigabytes of RAM and it is a Windows 10 Pro licensed operating system. Okay, the first thing we need to test is YouTube. So right now, we're playing 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second and zero drop frames. And that's the full screen. Ten eighty P sixty frame thirty excuse me thirty frames per second and no drop frames. Okay, I just switched over to a ten eighty P sixty frames per second video on YouTube. And of course when I switched over it went to thirty five drop frames, but it's been holding steady. So this device does support ten 1080p at 60 frames per second. Again, this is a 1080p monitor, not a 4K. So YouTube works perfectly. Okay, I run this browser. It's Chrome browser in a window. 
It shows 84 drop frames, but that's when I resized it from full size to a window. So it's playing pretty doggone good. Again, it's 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Okay, this is Netflix. Now, right now it's running at uh, 720p, but it does take a few seconds before it catches up to 1080p. So we'll catch it in just a second. Okay, it took about a minute to finally get up to uh, 1920 by 1080 and uh, 5800 kilobytes. That's all that it can do. So again, uh, this monitor is only a 1080p monitor. Okay, this is LibreOffice. Now this is comparable to Microsoft Office and this is a freeware. Now it's got the usual, the right document. That's your spreadsheet there, presentation, drawing, and a database. So let's open up the spreadsheet. Let's see how long it takes to open up. Okay, it opened up the spreadsheet very quickly. For some reason, this white background uh, causes fluttering on my camera, but it's got spelling, spelling checker, thesaurus. Anyway, that's all the tools that it has. So this is a great little uh, program for free, and it's uh, probably just as good as Microsoft Office. For those that are into multitasking, I have three different things going. I have the uh, browser. This is Chrome browser. I also have a HD home run live TV stream running and I've got it muted and this one is the MB theater app and uh, I've got the audio running on that one. So I've got two live TV streams. This could be a baseball or football, whatever you want to hear, a sport. Plus you can watch another channel here. Plus you can do all your surfing of the web. So this is great for multitasking. Now for those cheapskates like me that would like to cut the cord, this right here is your answer, the HD Home Run. All you have to do is get one of those HD Home Run tuners, put your set of rabbit ears to connect to it, and bingo, you can start recording your own TV shows. All right, let's see how this plays as far as gaming goes. Now, this is an old game from 15 or 20 years ago called Outlaws. So we're going to see how it plays. I need the steel key. Anyway, this is the game Outlaws. Oil for the lantern? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and play this for a couple of hours. So, but yes, it does play some of these old games very well, but definitely not the new games. So, who's this device made for? It's just made for the average computer user that just wants to surf, surf the web. Check the little email or maybe even some of the old games, but it's not intended for uh, real gamers that uh, likes to have powerful computers to play the latest games. This is not it, and this is not powerful, powerful enough to do any video uh, uh, editing or anything like that. This is just strictly a uh, surf for the web. Anyway, that's what I want to show you. Very nice box.